In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the easiest ways to make a lot of money with Binance P2P trading. Now, if you are new to the channel, support my channel by subscribing to the channel. Subscription doesn't cost anything. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. So P2P trading is a business on its own and a lot of persons have actually capitalized on this to make a lot of money for themselves. And I hope at the end of this video, you should be able to actually start making some money involving in P2P trading. If you don't have a Binance account already, use the link in the video description or in the comment section, okay, to sign up for an account on Binance and you get some of my welcome bonus that I give out to, you know, new subscribers on the Binance exchange. Now, to get started, once you log into your Binance account, okay, once you log into the Binance app, I'm going to do everything using the Binance app, all right, so that you can equally do this even on the go. Now, once you log into the Binance app, if to assess your P2P trading, the first thing you want to do is either you click on the P2P trading option here, okay, this is the shortcut to P2P trading interface, or you can come in here to where it says trades, okay, this middle icon here where it says trades. If you click on this trade, okay, at the top here, you see all of this option. Currently, we are on the spot trading option. If you want to go to the P2P trading option, you just click on P2P and it will still take you to the P2P trading interface. But my focus here is um, just to use the shortcut on the home page here, okay? So if I go ahead and click on P2P trading, this takes us to the P2P trading interface directly okay so once you get this um, um notification just click on i have read and then click on confirm make sure you go through the terms okay um to understand what binance is saying so this is what the p2p trading interface on binance looks like and the crypto we can trade on the p2p are the usdt btc busd bmb ethereum okay ngn this which is my own local currency maybe your own country to be your own local currency and the last one here, okay, is the SOL token, Solana, okay? So these are the tokens we can trade here on the P2P trading interface. We can buy and sell all of these here on the Binance P2P. Then the other thing you want to look at is make sure by default it will be on the P2P, all right? If it is not, make sure that you click on this because there are other different types of P2P trading that, but make sure that you're on the P2P trading interface because this is what I'll be using. And then your, your currency is what will be selected here, which in this case, in my own case, it is NGN. So your own local currency is what you want to select there. If your local currency is not here, just click on it and select your local currency. Now, once you know that all of these are set, the next thing you want to do is to do some settings, okay? To actually tweak some settings on your um, P2P trading. So if I come in here to this icon here, the profile icon, okay? So click on it. Once you click on it, if you scroll down here, you will see where it says payment method. All right. So make sure you click on this and add your payment method. This is where you are going to add your bank account. If you are going to sell to your bank account, this is the account that people will be making transfer to. Okay. So make sure you add bank account there. You can add as many as you want. You can add for different banks. All right. So add that, which is, is very, very important because when you want to sell, you still need to select any of those. Okay. So another thing you want to do here on the P2P notification option, just click on it. Once you click on the notification option, go ahead and enable all of the means you want to be notified with, okay? So you can you get notified for orders, all right? When there are orders, you can get notified via email, SMS, and then the app, okay? For your appeals, you can get notified via the streamings, okay? Anyone that you don't want to use or you know that you are not constantly using, you can go ahead and turn it off or on depending on what you want, all right? So if we come back here to the P2P option, the first way, okay, you can make a lot of money with Binance P2P is first becoming a mission, all right? The first way you can make money, a lot of money with Binance P2P is becoming a mission. And what does, what, what does it require to become a mission? If you want to become a mission, you just go to the um, profile option, okay? So once we go to the profile option here, here you will see where it says become a mission, all right? So this is where you will click, just click on it. You will see details that will tell you what you uh, is required of you to become a mission. Basically what you need is, you need at least um, to be holding a thousand BUSD or BUSDT, okay, in your funding account. 
that way you can apply okay and once you have a thousand dollars in your account okay you can make sure that you have all of this verified okay your email your sms and then your kyc all of that if it is verified you can apply to become a merchant or the binance p2p and you'll be approved so to know who missions are on the binance p2p they are the ones who have this badge okay they are the ones who have this badge anybody that has this badge means that that person is a verified business partner a merchant on the binance p2p verified by binance so binance has given that person a license to buy and sell on the p2p marketplace okay so and then you want to make sure that when you are trading here to avoid problems okay to avoid problems always deal with mission okay the reason why you want to deal with only missions is because because they have been verified by binance okay they will not want anything that will actually um you know start giving them bad ratings that will now warrant binance to you know uh deactivate their account and all of that so they are always making sure that they protect their interests here all right unlike unverified missions some of those are dubious people they just want to come in here and dupe of your money and the rest because they know a lot of people don't understand you know p2p trading so they do a lot here now how do mission make money on the binance p2p it's very easy okay as a mission they are the one placing ad for buy and they equally place ad for sell all right so here we are looking at the Ethereum. right now if you want to buy Ethereum, you are going to buy from this mission for instance at 1.2 you buy from this person at 1.200 um 1000 you buy from this person at 1.2 2000 and the more you scroll down okay the more the money keep increasing the more the money keep increasing then when you want to sell your ethereum to any of this mission if you go to the sell option so here on the sell option this is what you are selling the same ethereum that you know in buying you're buying at 1.2 right now you sell it at 1.187 1.186 1.185 1 all right so this is a very cool way that mission makes money on the binance p2p interface so that is why i encourage if you can just become a merchant and you are good to go all right so as a mission you can place art to buy crypto okay if you are selling you are buying crypto from others who want to sell at a lower price and then you place an ad to sell to them okay when they are buying you place an ad to sell to them at a very high price okay though the difference is not much but if you look at the volume that is traded on a daily basis you make a lot of money from it so if the uh, money you are making per transaction okay or per token is around or per coin in this case which is ethereum is around ten thousand five thousand so if you sell 10 20 ethereum you can join all of that together and you see that you're making a lot of money so the first okay easiest way to make money on the binance p2p um, platform is by becoming a mission this is a tip for you who want to become um, a mission all right maybe i will do a special tutorial on mission trading on the p2p option all right you want to make sure that you are always tweaking your ad all right you see that why this person is ranking first is because of one kobo this person is selling 744 98 kobo that is why this person is ranking before this person that is selling at 744 99 kobo all right and that this person is ranking because of one kobo above this person so these are some of the things you want to look at as a mission always tweaking your ad to make sure you are ranking first if you are ranking first one people once people are buying they will always buy from you the same thing applies to the sell option okay so if you are always ranking first here once you rank first people will always sell to you and that will generate a lot of volume on a daily basis to you all right so that is a, a special tip for you who want to become a merchant and the rest okay the other way to make a lot of money with binance p2p is by just first buying usdt okay when you buy usdt what i do is to look at the chart the btc chart now i'll buy usdt and then i'll sell bitcoin to my bank account i will show you that in a moment so if i come to the btc tab here all right so here and then i go to the sell tab you see that btc that is trading currently at 16.8 okay as at the early part of today before making this video btc was 16.5 btc was at a point 16.2 okay a few days ago it was 16. Point um one or there about to 16 million 16.80 thousand and the rest okay the same btc that was around 16.5 16.6 it is the same btc that is now 16.8 
So you can imagine buying up to one Bitcoin. That is cool 200,000 just in less than 24 hours that you would have made here. Okay. So let's assume you bought at 16.2. That is cool 400,000 that you would have made here. All right. So at the end of the day, what I've equally noticed on P2P is that towards evening, all right, there are a lot, a lot of movement in the market. Okay. So before you know it now, this can get up to either 16, 17 million or 17 point something. All right. So now the way this works is that you have to um, follow the market with patience. Okay. You have to follow the market with patience. If I come in here in the morning, I will go back to my um, trading, to my um, trade here. So I'll come back to trade or I'll just click on BTC here, for instance. Since it's BTC, I want to sell. I'll click on BTC. USDT price is stable, so it doesn't change very often. Okay. So I'll come to a lower time frame, depending on what I want to achieve. I'll come to a lower time frame. Now, this is the Bollinger Bands that I use. Okay. This is the Bollinger Bands that I use. Now, this market has dropped. All right, from 22,600, it has dropped right now, it's trading at 22,300. So there is every probability that right now that RSI is equally down, okay, I am only waiting if BTC can touch the lower Bollinger Band. If it can touch the lower Bollinger Band on the 15 minutes time frame, okay, I'll be looking for a buy opportunity because the market has been pumping. So once I keep a track on that and I come in here to buy USDT, the next thing I want to use the USDT to buy Bitcoin. Okay. I want to use the USDT to buy Bitcoin and you can do that on the trade option. Okay. If you have not checked that, you can check the video pumping up here on how to trade Binance and um, spot trading. If you check out that video, you know how spot trading works. Okay. So once I buy Bitcoin, I want to keep track of what Bitcoin is as at the time I bought. Okay. So let's say I bought Bitcoin when it was 16.8. I want to make sure that I hold a Bitcoin on my funding wallet on the P2P trading option. And then when it gets to either 16.9 or 17 million, I'll go ahead and sell it to my bank account. Then buy USDT again, wait for Bitcoin to drop. Okay. Bitcoin can drop up to 10 times, 20 times in a day. It can drop and go up. It can drop and go up. Now it all depends on what you want to be making and how much you are trading with. All right. So if I'm able to buy one Bitcoin in a day, it means that for every move, if this goes to 16.9, I am making 100,000. If it goes to 17, I am making 200. If it goes to 17.5, I am making a lot of money. Okay. So it all depends on what you want. So if it is 50, 50,000, 100, 100,000, 200,000 per transaction you want to make, you just wait until you achieve that. Then you go ahead and buy. But for this to work for you, you must be able to understand how to use the chart that is why i'm saying check out the video on spot trading it will help you to understand how to know when to buy and when to sell so that it is very easy you just buy usdt okay convert the usdt or use the usdt to buy btc and then wait for btc to increase to a certain level and you sell it to your bank account you can do this two three times in a day and you'll be profitable with it all right so you can do it with BTC, you can do it with BNB, you can do it with Ethereum. If I go to BNB, BNB should be 200 and something thousand right now. Yes. The same BNB that was 180 something thousand a few days ago, today it is 226,000. If you are going to sell, 226,000. So these are cool ways you can actually start trading crypto today on the P2P platform and be making a lot of money for yourself. So these are just the basic ways that you can start making money with Binance P2P right now. A lot of money with Binance P2P right now without struggle. Okay. I've done this for uh, in a very long time now. And I just decided to share with you. a lot of you who are struggling, you know, who are still asking questions. This is what you can do. And if you can afford to trade with a higher capital, it will benefit you more. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. Okay. If you have gained value from the video, give it a thumbs up and once again if you are not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing that way you're supporting me to continue to create content like this on the channel all right so join my telegram group if you want to learn more use the link in the description to join the telegram group and i'll see you in my next video